Um, well, let's, let's begin where we have to begin. Uh, we'll be listening to um, Stefan Mistura after his visit to Damascus. Um, uh, we had a briefing by him beginning of the week, end of last week. Um, and so it's very good that we can talk to him this morning and we have to wait and see what he has to report. From our side, this is a very special week, um, the Women, Peace and Security Week. You've seen many events and discussions on that one, certainly the ARIA on Monday. In that context, again, I will be raising the need <coughs> that we need at least 30% of women in the Constitutional Committee and in the subsidiary uh, um, 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 committees which are based under the committee. Uh, and furthermore, we think it's high time that now the Constitutional Committee will be installed as soon as possible and they get real progress on the ground. This is one meeting on Syria. Monday morning we go on with the humanitarian situation. Uh, and both today and on Monday I'll be raising the issue of the humanitarian situation in Syria and the need for complete accountability. What we hope is positive news from the Mistura, but um, let's wait and see what he has to tell us. You've seen the comments, I think, probably from the Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister of Syria, Mualim, saying that the Constitution is a sovereign matter for the government of Syria. That must be disappointing. Well, let's, let's first wait and see what Stefan Mistura has to say. Um, uh, we don't have direct contacts with the Syrian administration, so we really want to uh, hear from him what he has to say, and we'll give him full support to move ahead. And there's a very clear framework for uh, the way ahead, which is the resolution in place. Uh, so that will be the basis for our comments. Okay, thanks very much.